next thing we need to do is uh, set up the MP3 upload and the MP3 player on our episodes page. So first let's take care of the upload portion. So just like the paperclip image upload, let's go to the app models and the episode. So we are going to have a has attached file and the validates attachment content type, uh, just like before, uh, but it's going to be a bit different. I'm just gonna paste this in. So what we're gonna do is has attached file uh, MP3, and then we're gonna validate the attachment MP3. So I know this looks a little strange, but we're gonna do content type and then uh, curly bra braces and then content type again and then either audio MPEG or audio MP3. And then out of the curly braces, we're gonna do file name and make sure the file name matches uh, a dot MP3. So let's save that. Then we need to run the migration to add the MP3 to, to the episodes. So let's go back to get S real quick. All right, so change the model. Let me see, let's go back to Ruby Gems and search for Paperclip. Homepage, all right, let me search, see what the uh, migration is. Rails generate Paperclip, Rails G Paperclip. And I'm going to, instead of a user, we're gonna do episode and mp3. So let's hit enter. And then we can see the migration is add attachment mp3 to episodes. But just in case, let's uh, open that up. Sublime file path. So we're changing the episodes table and we're adding the attachment mp3. That looks good to me. Let's do a rake db migrate. Okay, so uh, let's next add the mp3 file upload to the form. So let's go to the views and episodes and the form. So let's copy the episode thumbnail, whoops, and go down, say mp3, file field, save that. Uh, we need to make sure we permit it. So let's go to the episodes controller, go down to the bottom and permit it colon mp3, save that. Okay, so let's go and test this out. So let's go to dashboard. Let's just try to edit the episode and add an mp3. So I've uh, downloaded one of uh, Sean West's podcast episodes uh, just to play around with this. So um, I'm going to use that episode and let's uh, try to update it see if it works. All right, so that successfully updated, took us, said it saved. Let's do a Rails, Rails console. And we're gonna search for episode equals episode.last. Let's see, the ID is five, which matches this. All right, so let's look at the MP file name, MP3 file name, Sean West uh, 150, which is the file I uploaded. The content type is audio slash MP3, and then the file size. All right, so this is good. So let's uh, do get out of the console by doing Control D. Let's do a git s git add dot. Now let's do a git commit dash am, and we will say uh, added mp3 upload to episodes. So the next thing we want to do is add the mp3 player to uh, the show page. So for uh, the mp3 player, we're going to use a thing called a JS library called JP player. If we go to the first link, there's a fork on GitHub link. So let's uh, click that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this zip uh, find that file. All right, so all I really need, let's go into the dist file, uh, the JP player, and what we need is this uh, jquery.jplayer.min. Uh, so I'm going to copy that, 
go into my code file, find the podcast.fm app assets and put it in the JavaScript folder. All right, let's close out of that. So next thing we need to add the HTML. So let's go to the podcast episode uh, show page. So I'm going to uh, below go below the um, episode description and below here I'm going to paste in the HTML for the JP player. So this is the HTML structure for the JP player. And then we also need to um, add a, a script at the bottom to set up the JP player. So I'm going to paste that in and uh, fix the spacing. So we're adding this on the document ready function. Uh, we're uh, finding the ID of jQuery, jQuery player one. And then we are um, starting the J player. And for the MP3, what we are doing is grabbing the at episode MP3 URL. So let's save that and go and refresh, see if we get any errors. Uh, we do not, but we should be able to play it, I believe. All right, so the MP3 player is working, it's just not styled at this point. So I'm going to go into the app asset style sheets. Let's go to the podcast page and under the episode content, I'm going to paste in the styles for the JP player. So let's save that, go back and refresh. We're getting, it's not clear which file to import. Oh, so the, uh, when we generated the controller, it also created a podcast.scss file. I'm just going to delete that. And if I go back, refresh, should be good. There we go. So this is using uh, Font Awesome for the icons. Um, I want to do one thing. Let's add a, a, a text decoration, none. Save that, refresh. So now the audio player. Um, I've seen this with myself when I had so many different creative I am stoked. We can uh, fast forward this as well. Turn the volume up and down. Mute it. And you can see the time is playing as well. And this all happens because of the awesome JP player. So as far as the styling goes, um, I am. these are just uh, all the styles written for the specific uh, JP player uh, class names and ID names. And I went through and tweaked it a bit to add like the background, made it a highlight, and then um, the border right, used the highlight color and lightened it a bit. The uh, progress bar, I darkened it a bit. But uh, from here, we are going to do a git. Um, let's see what we've done. Git s. So now let's uh, git add dot git s. Now let's do a git commit with a message. Um, added jp player. Added jp player to play mp3s on episode page. Now let's do a git push. Git push Heroku master. And now let's go to the Heroku app. You can see the MP3 players there. Let's uh, go to the dashboard, upload an MP3, do the Sean West. Hopefully we don't get any errors. We're sorry, but something went wrong. Let's uh, check the Heroku logs. Oh, duh. Okay, so we pushed it to Heroku, but we did not do the models missing. The um, So let's do Heroku rake db migrate. I'm going to do Heroku restart just in case. 
Okay, now let's uh, refresh and try that again. Okay, now let's uh, pick a MP3, hit update. All right, and that was uh, successfully updated. Let's try playing. Um, I've seen this with myself when I had so many different creative pursuits going on. And that works perfectly. Awesome. Well, in the next episode, we are going to uh, do the last thing remaining, and that is uh, set up the pagination for our application.